Apparent Mineralocorticoid Excess Syndrome, Wikipedia Article Audio Apparent mineralocorticoid excess is an autosomal recessive disorder causing hypertension and hypokalemia. It was found by Dr. Maria L. New at Vey Cornell Hospital in New York City. It results from mutations in the HSD11B2 gene, which encodes the kidney isozyme of 11-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase type 2. In an unaffected individual, this isozyme inactivates circulating cortisol to the less active metabolite cortisone. The inactivating mutation leads to elevated local concentrations of cortisol in the aldosterone-sensitive tissues like the kidney. Cortisol at high concentrations can cross-react and activate the mineralocorticoid receptor due to the non-selectivity of the receptor, leading to aldosterone-like effects in the kidney. This is what causes the hypokalemia, hypertension, and hypernatremia associated with the syndrome. Patients often present with severe hypertension and end organ changes associated with it like left ventricular hypertrophy, retinal, renal and neurological vascular changes along with growth retardation and failure to thrive. In serum both aldosterone and renin levels are low. This disorder presents similarly to hyperaldosteronism, leading to feedback inhibition of aldosterone. Common symptoms include hypertension, hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis, and low plasma renin activity. Signs slash symptoms Genetics AIM is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. This means the defective gene responsible for the disorder is located on an autosome, and two copies of the defective gene are required in order to be born with the disorder. The parents of an individual with an autosomal recessive disorder both carry one copy of the defective gene, but usually do not experience any signs or symptoms of the disorder. Other conditions such as Little syndrome can mimic the clinical features of AIM, so diagnosis can be made by calculating the ratio of free urinary cortisol to free urinary cortisone. Since AIM patients create less cortisol, the ratio will much be higher than non-affected patients. Alternatively, one could differentiate between the two syndromes by administering a potassium-sparing diuretic. Patients with Little's syndrome will only respond to a diuretic that binds the ANAC channel, whereas those with AIM will respond to a diuretic that binds to ANAC or the mineral corticoid receptor. The treatment for AIM is based on the blood pressure control with aldosterone antagonist like spironolactone which also reverses the hypokalemic metabolic alkalosis and other antihypertensives. Renal transplant is found curative in almost all clinical cases. AIM is exceedingly rare, with fewer than 100 cases recorded worldwide. Licorice consumption may also cause a temporary form of AIM due to its ability to block 11-beta-hydroxysteroid dehydrogenase type 2, in turn causing increased levels of cortisol. Cessation of licorice consumption will reverse this form of AIM. Diagnosis Treatment Apparent mineralocorticoid excess at NIHS Office of Rare Diseases